Yeah, guys, I want to switch gears because there's one thing that I had on my notes to talk about today, which is recent news this this week. And that was the, I don't know if it was a Miss America or Miss Universe pageant, but this <laughs> beauty pageant that removed the uh, notion of beauty from the actual pageant. Um, it's like, I don't know, to me, it's like taking wheels off a car. Like, what's the point in having a car? You know, <laughs> women, women are... Uh, beauty objects to men and men are success objects to women and you know <laughs> like this is this is just what feminism is doing in the modern world right you know they've taken away the uh, pit girls you know um you know in races now where they had these beautiful women holding the umbrellas and you know they do the signage and all that sort of stuff it's like you know systematically one one thing after the the other feminism seems to be taking away the notion of um, you know, women having the burden of performance of looking good. You know, women, women and men are are, are very different in, in in so many senses. Where it's like women just need to show up and look good. Men need to look good. They need to make money. They need to be successful. They need to be competent. They need to, you know, the list goes on and on. But women just need to show up and look good. And now they're taking that away from women. What are your guys' thoughts on that? Anybody want to go? Because I have a I have a real <laughs> I have a long history with pageants as it is. My my daughter's very very beautiful. She's a she, She's a knockout, but Go ahead, man. she has done she has done pageants before in the past. Now, one thing I've recognized being Rolo Tomasi and seeing how this these pageants and remember Miss America is one pageant system. There are like dozens of these pageant systems, and really what happens is they get these little girls who are you know anywhere between like say six or seven years old, even younger in some cases, and they sell them on what what I can only describe as this fem empowerment narrative. They they feed them on on this you know this confidence as if it's like some you know, nebulous magical confidence. I don't mean the kind that's actually developed from you know doing things. It's just like you have to believe in yourself kind of thing. And it's this Disney want for little girls to feel beautiful. They want to go up and they want to put on this dress and they want to wear the tiara and they want to be uh, they want to be judged as the most beautiful of the pageant. At, at the very least, they want to get that little rose at the end of the pageant. And what what they do is they sort of play on this pay to play mentality where they they kind of pander to the parents and say don't you want your daughter to be uh, uh confident don't you want your daughter to uh you know be strong and an independent woman well this is where it begins here in the in this in, in the uh, pageant community because they, for a long time uh, i would say really since the sexual revolution they have been trying to change up pageants to be more of this really a school or an indoctrination of girls to become women who end up following this fem empowerment narrative. And now what I think we're seeing with the Miss America pageant, which is the most, you know, the most visible, the one we've had since World War II, uh, you know, what was Bob Hope was one of the hosts at one point. Um, you got this piece of, of Americana and what happens is they're finally coming full circle with what has been happening in the pageant systems for a very long time, which is, now they want to do exactly what you're saying, Rich, is they want to eliminate the body, you know, the, the beauty side of it. And again, it comes down to what we were talking about before, which is women don't want to do anything for a man's specific pleasure. So who gets the most pleasure out of the swimsuit side of, of, the, of the contest? Well, that's men, right? And if you have a problem with it, I noticed this on Twitter right after the announcement, is that if you had any kind of criticism saying, look, it's no longer a beauty pageant, it's just a competition. I mean, even Gretchen Carlson, who now runs the damn show, said it's a competition. It's not a beauty pageant anymore. Okay, great. So you basically just killed Miss America, which was a, a piece of Americana. And why? Because she believes that the, it's a step in the right direction for the cultural revolution of feminism and the future is female. So what they've done is they've come full circle and dropped off anything that would have uh, any appeal to men and you're going to consequently see this entire pageant die. And it's pretty much the end of Miss America is where we'll end up being because nobody's advertisers are going to you know, put money into that. No, they're not going to do that because it's just now a venue for um, for women to vent this fem empowerment narrative.